Hello guys and welcome back to another Tweaker Man video. So if any of you have seen uh, a compact disc improver made by a company called Audio. Company called Audio Desk. So they work out to about £1,000. So I've been looking at them for a while now and I'm thinking I could reproduce that myself. So this is just a prototype at the moment of a, uh, a a disc an optical disc improver so all you're going to be doing with this is just putting a very slight bevel on the edge of it and then you darken it in with a black marker now this audio desk uh, cd lathe they call it it's a cd improver also um, they say all the reviews on it are really really good so i've uh Devise the device here on my lathe to do exactly the same thing. Now I'm going to show you it. So um, I'm just going to unscrew the the bolt here. Okay. So there we go. That's a uh, that's a spindle in the centre. So I've been practicing with uh, discs and that. This is only a prototype at the moment. I haven't even listened to the discs to see whether they've been improved. I'm having to put lots of work into making sure that it cuts evenly all round. Now this first disc was a disaster. So what happened was is the wood here that I've got is basically it's uh, connected to the bowl cutter, the bowl uh, attachment for this lathe. So if you're if you're turning bowls, you would use this. Now what happened was, is I didn't put the the the, uh, the nut in the back of it, so it would take the bolt. So then I had to remove it and then put it back on. And then once I put it back on, it was never quite as centralised. So I had to remill it again. So I'm going to show you the sort of nut that's in the back of it. So this is the the nut that fits into the back. It's called a star nut, and it's got some little prongs on it, and they bang into the wood. So, um, and then obviously this is a bowl attachment. So this effectively goes on top of there. And then when you look through, you can see the bolt, the nut in there. Not sure if you can see that very well there, it's a bit dark. Anyway, you get what I mean. So, um, so going back over to the, uh, the lathe. I've got another piece of wood here with a hole in it, which I put a bevel on as well. So this slips over there, and then you bolt it up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a new disc in there for you to show you, and then I'm going to show you me milling it. Now at the moment I'm only using wood laving tools, <clears throat> and uh, they're not sharp enough, nowhere near it. And I need to get the exact right angle, and the angle of the bevel is only very small. So I've contacted Audio Desk very sneakily to ask them whether what is the correct angle. And also another reason for this is a lot of discs that get pressed sometimes are not totally symmetrical. They can be out very slightly. So when they spin in your in your transport, they actually wobble very slightly off. So what, what this effectively is doing is truing the disc up very slightly. It's only minimal, but as you know me, Tweaker Man, the audio file, the, uh, the snake oil producer, no, that's not me. But, you know, I am uh, pushing the boundaries of sound quality and trying to achieve the maximum I can. Now, I've already practiced with putting pens around the edge of a CD, and I haven't found uh, that much of, of, a, uh, of an improvement, if anything, nothing. But this idea is to stop the amount of glare that comes off the laser and uh, it stops the machine from overworking to correct that. So uh, let's get the disc on, a blank one, and uh, we'll, get, we'll go from there. So before we do that, let's look at these two discs. So this is one that I've put a bevel on. Okay, now I've got to experiment with these bevels because uh, I need to do a smaller one and a slightly larger one and, and see whether there's any difference or whether it plays once you've done the bevel, because who knows, it could go it could go wrong. So this is the disc that's got no bevel on it at the moment, and you can see there's a bevel on that one. 
and the bevel is perfectly symmetrical all around and what I've done is I've trued the side up as well but in able to do this bevel I'm going to have to make a tool up for this and get the angle directly right and uh, well I'll explain that in a later video once once I uh, once I start producing this because it will be quite a quite a good thing to do if it improves the sound quality they're all saying the audio desk is really really good and it just got me thinking now if you had an engineer's lathe it would work even better this lathe is uh, is only a relatively cheap wood lathe and um whether it's that accurate is probably not but it can if i can get it right so at the moment this is the this is what i've built there but this is just a prototype at the moment this is just the first incarnation of it um see look so the disc fits over there there's no movement in that it's got to be spot on you don't want any movement because when it starts to to spin if if there's movement in there then your bevel is not going to be correct it's going to go off and uh, so that's what i've done it took me ages to get this uh, dead dead level and also when when it comes to doing this properly these pieces will be covered in a felt because we don't want any damage to the surface to the playing surface so that just pops over there and then i have to tighten this up okay now there's a bit on here on this lathe here where i have to pull out push down there and it stops the lathe from moving Okay, so what I'm going to do is just tighten this up with a screwdriver at the moment. I've had to use this screwdriver because I'm doing a big job in the pub tomorrow for two days and I've, uh, I've, I've boxed all my tools up and everything's in the, uh, in the AV room ready to go for the morning. So, uh, right, okay. So there we go. So you can get this quite tight and, and everything is flat. That's what you need it to be flat. So now I'm going to have to put the uh, camera on a tripod to uh, show you how I do this now. So this is the tool that I'm going to be using. It's an angled, uh, small, very small angled um, turning chisel. Now the problem is with these turning chisels is they're not the sharpest. Even when you sharpen them up, they're never as sharp as what I need to do this job. So I'm going to have to make a special tool for it. But let's get the lathe going. I'll show you exactly how I do this. So the lathe has to be on its fastest speed for this job. So let's do it now, ready? We're putting a very tiny bevel on it. Now the idea is you put the bevel on and then after that what you're meant to do is to darken the edge of it with a with a black marker pen which I'm going to do now just to show you. So this is the, the marker pen so let's set the lathe up and go again. There we go. So let's take this off now and have a closer look at look at it. Right, I'm going to turn this off now and then I'll be back in a second. So here we have the disc which has had a bevel on it and then it's been penned in black. Now this is exactly what audio desks say to do. Now the reason why I I, I quite like audio desk is they're a German company. And the Germans are just superb. So I get people telling me that deep cryogenic treatment is snake oil. Now, you know that all the German cars, Audis, uh, BMWs and Mercedes, they all deep cryogenically treat their water pumps, their alternators and loads of other parts in, in their cars because it makes them a hell of a lot more reliable. And, um, and this audio desk, they make some very nice uh, record cleaning machines as well. So I do sort of trust what they say. Um, but if I can produce this myself, I mean, sure, it's going to be superb. I'll be able to do, I mean, I've got such a massive collection of CDs. So all these are blank CDRs at the moment, which I'm practicing on because I wouldn't want to put any 
any of my uh, my CDs on there and ruin them. But ultimately, it what what it does is it effectively takes the harshness away from a CD. So some CDs can sound harsh. This is what audio desks say. This isn't what I'm saying because I haven't tried. I haven't listened to any yet. So what I will be doing is once I perfect this, I shall do some copies on some CDRs. I shall copy uh, two CDRs, one with a bevel on it, penned in with a black marker and one without a bevel. And I shall uh, tell you my opinions on whether there's any difference. Now, again... I always find these things subtle. It can't be a massive difference. So all the reviews have said, wow, this is a great product. And at a £1,000 to improve your... I mean, really, ultimately, if they was to produce something a hell of a lot cheaper, say £150, they would sell loads of them. If they were that good, they would sell loads of them. But they charge too much for these products. It's only, I mean, it's not even a piece of equipment you use to listen to music with. This is just called a CD improver. Now I'm going to put a link to that CD improver in the, um, in the comments below. And, uh, I, so you can check it out and see what it is all about. But, um, it'll be interesting, uh, to see how this goes. So I think that's it for this video. I thought I'd just show you what I've been up to. Obviously here's the, uh, the mains conditioning hub going. I've started machining up the cover for it there with the um, with the stitching there. Um, got to do a bit more work on that yet, so I haven't had a chance to finish that off. But I thought I'd show you this other thing that I've been doing. I've been thinking about this for a while, um, how I could improve a, a CD. But if you can get it, if you can do it, it'd be well worth it. I mean, I'm sure most of you don't have a wood lathe, but you might know someone who's got one or someone you can... Uh, you can, anyway, I'll stop waffling for now. So thanks for watching another Tweaker Man video. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to give this video a like. Don't forget to press that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a video. And thank you for watching, guys.